You guys realize you're being played, right? You guys realize that Republican leadership doesn't care about you at all, right? Securing the border, it's one of the top legislative priorities for Republican voters. It's been an ongoing crisis, really for generations. Although, of course, it's been particularly bad under Joe Biden's horrible policies. But in general, it's something that should have been addressed a long time ago. And what most people are asking for is a standalone bill. A bipartisan bill where Democrats and Republicans come together to secure the nation. Well, these Washington losers Losers told you last week that that's exactly what they were working on. They were going to get the job done. Turns out it was just a Ukraine, Israel, even Gaza funding bill. In other words, an endless proxy war bill. Or probably a better way to describe it, a bill dead set on protecting Ukraine's border. Meanwhile, the crisis rages on domestically. Well, of course, that bill was ridiculed. Republican voters didn't like it, didn't like it at all. A couple establishment Republicans were trying to push the bill, but they couldn't get it passed through the Senate. And so here's where it gets interesting. You would expect that maybe they'd go back to the drawing board, drop all the funding for Ukraine, maybe make separate bills, maybe make an actual border security bill. You'd expect that's what they would do, actually work to solve American issues, but nope. That's not at all what happened. Instead, in a very rare moment, during the Super Bowl, when Americans were distracted, Republicans teamed up with Democrats, and they ended up passing a Ukraine-Israel funding bill, in other words, dropping the domestic border issue entirely from this piece of legislation and making a single-issue proxy war bill, which passed with flying colors. 67 people voted in the Senate to pass this bill while they had you distracted at the Coliseum. Let me show you guys exactly what's going on. Republican politicians hate you. Republican politicians cannot stand you. In fact, they probably hold contempt for you. They'll never say it, but they show it with their actions. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so take a look at this. Disgusting. U.S. Senate advances $95 billion aid package to Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan in rare Super Bowl Sunday vote. Here are the 18 Republicans who voted with Democrats. The vote came in response to Senator Rand Paul's steadfast refusal to expedite voting on the bill, which he vehemently criticized as raw and detrimental to national interests, Senator Rand Paul, expressing his staunch opposition, declared that he would not allow the bill to pass immediately, emphasizing his concerns over prioritizing foreign aid over domestic issues. Rand Paul tweeted, It's a terrible idea to put forward and pass a bill that tries to secure other countries' borders before we secure our own. We need to address our problems here at home in a real way. This bill sends the message to Americans that their elected officials don't care about them. I've never met any Kentuckian who says, Fix the border of Ukraine before you fix our border. According to The Hill, Schumer offered Republicans a chance to vote on amendments in exchange for expediting the legislative process. By a vote of 67 to 27, the Senate invoked cloture on Murray substitute Amendment 1388 to H.R. 815 legislative vehicle for supplemental appropriations. The Senate press gallery wrote on X, 67 senators voted in favor of war funding, while 27 senators opposed the expenditure, all of whom were Republicans. You can take a look here. These are all the Republicans Republicans who voted with Democrats to send yet again another hundred million dollars abroad. These people don't care about you, and how many betrayals is it going to take for that to really sink in? There are over a hundred thousand overdose deaths a year, mostly due to fentanyl coming over the southern border. It's been an ongoing crisis since the widespread advertising of Oxycontin and other opiate derivatives caused this massive, horrifying domestic crisis. We're seeing poverty like we've never seen before, homelessness like we've never seen before, drug abuse, overdoses through the roof. We're seeing human trafficking and crime, cartels operating openly on Facebook, taking advantage of lax border laws. We have all of these domestic problems that are far more deadly and far more dangerous than anything going on abroad. Not just America, but Western nations in general are facing heightened terror Terrorism risks, national security as we know it is at risk, and so is public safety. These are real problems, these are real crises facing the nation right now, and you can't get Congress to lift a frickin' finger. They won't spend a dime on securing the southern border. They pulled the funds to build Donald Trump's border wall. In 2017, even Republicans were fighting against Donald Trump on the issue of border security. You can't get these people to do anything to spend a dime. But if Ukraine and Israel need money, they will axe the border issue entirely from the bill. This was a 118 million dollar bill initially, roughly 20 million dollars allocated to going to the border to essentially expand the asylum process, and that was the first thing to get cut. 
Initially, this was labeled a secure the border bill, but they couldn't get it passed. So the first thing they decided to do was, well, let's just kind of cut the whole idea of the bill. Screw border security, screw domestic issues. Let's cut absolutely nothing going abroad. And just in the dead of night, while everyone's distracted with Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift, the Black National Anthem controversy, and, you know, talking about whether or not the NFL is rigged, when everyone's distracted with the big spectacle, we'll change the bill and pass it no problem. With a super majority of Republicans and Democrats signing on to protect Ukraine and Israel's borders. It is absurd. It is patently absurd. A betrayal of the highest degree. You know, it's one thing to do it openly and to say, look, we're going to pass this bill because the American war machine, of course, must continue, but we'll make it a legislative priority moving forward to pass a standalone border security bill. It'd be one thing if they were communicating that and that Democrats were siding on. It's another to pull this slick maneuver and to backstab your voter base in such despicable fashion. Once again, Republicans cave and give Democrats a massive win. Democrats have spent the last two weeks attempting to convince the American public that Republicans are dishonest and don't actually want to secure the border. No, it's just a, an election issue. And so they're stopping this border security bill. They've crafted this horribly dishonest, divisive narrative. And Republican voters, I'm assuming for the most part, wanted their Washington representatives to, I don't know, represent them, maybe stand strong, not totally give in to the propaganda and play the Democrats game, stand on principle and stop with the cowardice all the time. And this is what Republicans deliver. A massive uniparty Pentagon W and nothing on the border. You think Democrats are going to play ball now? Of course not. They were playing some scam, titling this bill the border security bill when really all the money was being sent to Ukraine and Israel. They were pulling a fast one, and now they get a double win. They can continue to say, well, Republicans didn't work with us, and so we had to drop border security from the bill, and then they voted on that. And now when it's time for Republicans to say, well, hey, we signed on to your stupid bill, now I guess it's time to pass an actual border security bill. You think Democrats are going to play ball? Of course not. There's not going to be a border security bill because of corrupt, idiotic Republican nonsense. It's unreal. All Congress and the Senate does is play games. They pass bills when it's politically expedient. They mislabel and misrepresent legislation. They do nothing but play games and spend your money to either cause problems or solve other people's problems. And what I mean by solve other people's problems is continue to sow discord abroad. Meanwhile, we sit here, we look around, we see all the crisis, all the issues around us, and they don't lift a finger. It is disgraceful and insulting, but it's also understandable and totally predictable. Kind of expected. It's the same thing from back in Roman times. That's exactly what happened here. Distract people with games at the Colosseum. Bread, wine, captive hostages of war, fighting lions in a pit of despair. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to the games. Watch the Super Bowl. Meanwhile, the legislative ruling elite backstab you as you're distracted. What an absolute farce. Mitch McConnell has got to go. If this guy somehow remains leader, then I don't know. I mean, I'm, I will literally be speechless. Anyways, that's pretty much it. The current Republican mantra is no longer America first. It's Ukraine and Israel first. Absolutely despicable. That's the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.